I want to talk to you. Yes, you right there. Okay, so this episode is all about me getting to know you better. I want to talk to you a lot. Um, I realized how much I enjoy the conferences, how much I enjoy talking to new people, and how much I enjoy genuinely helping people. I don't want anything from this whatsoever. I'm not trying to build up anything to anything. It is just me um, giving away a full day of my time um, and wanting to speak to the audience out there. We can talk football, we can talk stories, we can talk whatever you want. Anything you want to talk about, we can talk. So I've got a link if you want to have a chat with me. It's called, it's Calendly, C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y.com forward slash Dean Booty forward slash 15 minutes. Uh, a link will be in the show notes. Jojo, I've emailed you the link just to make sure I get the link right instead of I, if I've spelled it incorrectly or whatever. Anyway, the link's in the show notes. Um, and Jojo, if you can put it on LinkedIn or wherever, and, and YouTube as well, wherever this goes live, if you put link underneath in the comments section, that will be awesome. And people can schedule it. It is for the 30th of November. I have cancelled out everything in my diary and I want to talk to you guys because like I said I did get a message a couple of weeks back from somebody saying 93% full um I won't give you any more information but um this is because of you and I was like well it's not but I really really appreciate it. just a couple of texts backwards and forwards and do you know what it really it genuinely made my day it genuinely made my day because I, I hope that self-storage can give you guys the life that it's given me and the security that it's given me. And so if I can just help one person have the lifestyle or I guess it's just a great lifestyle. It really is. So if I can help one person, then do you know what? It makes me feel good about myself. And so really I'm doing this for selfish reasons where I just want to feel good about myself. And the way I can do that is by helping more and more people. So yes, I want to chat with you guys. I want to help you. I want to talk to you. And um, this is all this podcast is about. So next Wednesday, Go to that calendar link and you can book, schedule a call, put your telephone, I think they ask you uh, name, email address, and then your telephone number. And then it's a, and then there's another question saying, look, how, give us, if, if there's anything I need to prepare for, any more information, just like, you know, um, I don't know if you say sales process or revenue management or whatever, whatever it may be, just give me a little bit of information so I can do uh, because then I can do a bit of prep work and then I'm not wasting your time as well because I want to try and make it as fruitful as possible for you. And so, yeah, 15 minutes. Talk to me. Hit me. Let's do this. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to it, guys. Um, and so, yeah, 30th of November. Um, I will call you um, and and then, yeah, we'll have a chat. Uh, I'll be I'll be on a walk probably or something and or in a coffee shop or something like that. Um, and then, we'll, yeah, we'll have a chat, my friends. And, uh, yeah, anything at all. I don't really know what else to say, how to sell it, or whatever, but it's a 15-minute chat, and yeah, we'll shoot the shit about your business and see if I can help in any way. All right, my friends, I love you. I genuinely mean it. I genuinely love talking to you guys. I love speaking to you. I love this self-storage industry. It's been so good to me, so fruitful. So if I can help anyway, like, for example, I'm helping my, one of my friends at the minute with a lease. Um, they've just put in um, an offer, but you can't just put an offer for a I should do a podcast episode about this. You can't just put an offer in like an email saying, I offer you this. It just, it looks, it looks unprofessional. It looks shit. And so there's ways and means we do it. We, we do it. We structure it in a professional manner. We make sure that, we, that, for example, we put our solicitor's details in there. So we're not time wasting. We look more professional. It elevates our offer higher than somebody else. You just put offer this. And we're like, nah, do you know what? We're going to, we're going to make sure it's professional. We'll wrap it up with a nice bow on top and all that sort of good stuff. So there we go, guys. Uh, that is it. I'm going to schedule a call with all you guys. And the, the, one of the, oh, sorry, quickly, one of the reasons I'm doing this is that I, I, when people email me, I'm terrible at getting back to them. When people message me on LinkedIn, I'm terrible at getting back to people. And do you know what? I know why. Because I'm dyslexic and I find it hard to write an email. I find it hard to message back like that. I even find it hard to text back because I'm dyslexic and it's just, it's it might be easy for you guys it doesn't come easy to me. It's painful to to write an email for me. It just, it makes my head hurt. And then I'm thinking, oh shit, have I said that right? Is the grammar right? Uh, and I just, I get all hot and bothered about it. And so what might take you a minute to write an email, it will take me 10 minutes because I'm just not very good like that. So I thought, do you know what? I feel a dick that I don't reply to many people. And it's not, 
it's not that I am a dick, although some people, my wife will certainly call me a dick. It's not because I'm like that at all. It's just that it, it, I find it difficult. I really do find it difficult. And the more I've been opening up about my dyslexia um, and stuff like that, then the more I spoke to someone on LinkedIn the other day and she was talking about a mind going blank when someone asked a direct question. I'm like, oh shit, that's me. That's me. And so the more I'm more open up to about things like this, the more I realize I'm not alone. And there's other people that will understand what, I mean, when I say I find it hard to, I find it hard to reply and and things like that. So yeah, it's just my, um, it's just me. And so I don't, I don't want people to think oh, I haven't replied. Who's he think he is? Big time Charlie and all that. Like it's not hundred percent not me. And so I thought, you know what? Let's let's open up a day when I just talk to everybody. I talk to everybody because I find it I find it easy to talk. And I don't might not make sense a lot of the time, but I find it a lot easier to communicate like this. And if it's a success, if, if people like it, <laughs> then I'll do it more often because. I genuinely want to help people. I genuinely want to make sure that um, I, I remember where I was when I first got in storage and I remember I know where I am now. And if I can help people have a little bit of success in storage, then I know how happy it makes you. And obviously, if financially you're secure, then it it, it dominoes into the other aspects of your life. You're a better dad. You're a better husband. You're a better friend. There's, it just snowballs. And so if I can help someone be more financially sound, then... It's a winning tip. All right, my friends, it's happening. 30th of November. Let's do it. All right, book a call with me. Um, even if you've got nothing to talk about. Jesus Christ, I need a haircut. Do I look at this? If you're on LinkedIn or, or YouTube. Yeah. My, my wife has Botox. She keeps on telling me, you've got to get Botox. And looking at this, I'm thinking, holy shit, she might be right. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Botox. I won't get any Botox, by the way. I'm too scared. All right. I'll... <laughs> Don't know what to say. Right, I'll see you later. Bye.